I'm now talking to Barbara Enright. I started to say one of the most, but the most winning tournament player, female, in the world. Barbara, you are you have the distinction of being the only woman ever to win three gold bracelets. And I remember when I interviewed you, when you won your second one, you said, I have two wrists. How did you feel when you won the third one and became, made that mark in history for a female player? Well, I thought, where am I going to put this bracelet? <laughs> <laughs> Barbara, in 1995, you again made poker history for a woman by making the final table. You became the first woman ever to make the final table. Tell me how you felt in going to that final table and then what happened. When, uh, when we were at the final table, I thought, I have a chance to win a million dollars, and I was very excited about it. But I didn't have a lot of chips, so I try not to get my hopes built up too much. Well, I was playing very well. The only thing is I wasn't getting any cards at all. I was totally card dead, and I wasn't ever in a spot to, to, to rob the blinds or anything because somebody else would get there before me, and I'd have to throw my hand away. I climbed a hand. The, the only time I think I moved in was with two aces, and that was only because that's the only hand I got. It isn't like I was trying to play real tight. It's just that I had nothing, and I never was in a, in a position to steal. And then? Then finally, I have the big blind, and I had two eights. Which is and a pretty I, good hand at five Well, that five-handed, that's pretty good, and especially when everybody threw their hand away. Now I thought, oh boy, at least I can win all the antes and, and maybe the small blind. But the small blind happened uh, to complete the bet, which is okay with me. Now I moved in. I raised all in, and he thought about it for about five seconds and called. And we had to turn our hands over, and I show my two eights, and he shows a six three of diamonds. And the flop came a six and a three and a queen. And I remember but, uh, I was in the audience. The audience reaction was like, Everyone was so obviously rooting for you, and when that flop came, it was like, ah. Oh. Like everything I've worked for for three days just went out the window. But in reality, you ended up the highest fin finish for a woman ever, and you won 114000 and change, and it was the first time I ever won a large amount like that, and I was disappointed. <laughs> There is the professor, Howard Letterer, in his 19th World Series. He's a force at any table, he sits. Barbara Enright finished fifth in the main event ten years ago. The only other woman to come close to a final table was Howard's sister, Annie Duke. She was tenth in the year 2000. On the Milwaukee's Best Light Pocket Cam, Barbara Enright shows pocket queens. Everybody Here in this room fighting for the top prize in the main event of seven and a half million dollars. Bar raises this pot to eight thousand. 560 plus players left right now. Yeah. Average chip stack for each player would be about a hundred thousand. Howard sitting with about 128 thousand chips right now and pocket sevens. I'm all in. And how's going to re-raise to try to put Barbara Enright all in? And since we're this close to making the money, players often take a lot longer to make their decisions right now. Pocket queens usually would call pretty quickly. Barbara's going to think about it. I call. And she will call. A player going out right now makes zero dollars, but players finishing in the money make a minimum of 12500 Barbara's queens are strongest right now. Is in good shape, but again, she gets unlucky right here. Two or three straight days of playing all day long, you get nothing. She'd be out. Barbara played her first hand of poker. She says that age four is going strong. Ace five, ace no. Barbara still leads. Howard needs a lot of help real quick. Here is the turn card. Oh, it's a queen. That does it. Enright with a full house. She wins the hand. Howard Letterer drawing dead. A meatless 10 on the river. And Bar Enright doubles up through Howard Letterer. I was playing poker before poker. Was <laughs> this is the first time that a lady has gotten to the finals of the World Series of Poker. I wasn't thinking about gender. That, oh, I'm a woman and no woman has ever done this before. That's great. I didn't think about that. Barbara's all in against Brent. Barbara, two eights, six tread diamonds. Barbara's a huge favorite in this spot. Oh, boy. I was just focused on, you know, winning the World Series. 
Oh my God, that was a horrible week. I still can't get over it. Every time I watch the video, I'm hoping the flop will change. Frank Carter wins a hand with six oh, of the way to go. At the time, all I was thinking was I deserve to finish high end. Looking back now, there's more of a sense of pride than there was at the time. I think if a woman wins the main event, it would probably bring even more women into poker. I'm not used to winning with the best man, but I don't look at gender. Right? I'm just a poker player, just doing the best I can. Yeah.